Okay, the donkey is loaded. Clocking in at 219 pounds with all my gear and myself. Seems like a lot of weight. Go west, middle-aged man. That's the theme of the trip. Keep going west. Well, I got this feeling that I'm about to get my ass handed to me, but I kind of knew that. And, uh, shoot. You got this, JG. You can do it. One foot in front of the other. All right. No, well, it's getting narrower. Not quite single track, but getting there. Whew. Here it goes. Okay, this is the real deal now. And I'm already in my lowest gear and sweating buckets. Whew. Just cracked 6,000 feet. Here we go, onward and upward. All right, well it's uh, pretty nice. Single track as advertised. So far, the gradient's been manageable. Uh, but I know there's gonna be some hike bike coming up soon. Okay, the hike a bike has begun in earnest. Whew. Okay, I am just above the uh, end of the first section of the Colorado Trail. This is the uh, South Platte River, South Fork of the Platte River. And I'm gonna tank up with some water here and figure out how far down section two I'm gonna try and go today. It is uh, 2.08 p.m. and I've been riding for just over four hours, 24.27 miles. Okay, this is the South Platte River, uh, end of section one, beginning of section two. And I'm gonna fill up with some water here. Okay, I started the climb up the beginning of segment number two. And that's the valley where the river is. 
right out there. And that's where I zigzagged down all the way from that ridge up there, I think. So, climbing back up again. Howdy. That's fun. Hikers, oh, three hikers. Saw two mountain bikers going towards Denver. A few more hikers today. I guess I'd say mostly hikers. But I heard from some of the hikers that there's uh, at least four bike packers that are headed the same way I am, and so maybe I'll be camping. Uh, near them tonight but uh, looking forward to getting my tent set up soon I'm getting tired uh, I think that's the fire station where you can get some water up there on the hill and I think that's the end of section two Woo good evening well it's my first evening out on the trail uh, just finished segments one and two of the Colorado Trail and just finished up dinner getting ready to hang up all of my food and hit the sack I am beat Okay, 
Day two, here we go. Just got everything packed up finally. Felt like it took forever. I need some practice getting my uh, procedures dialed in, but uh, got it all there. And excited to hit the trail again. It's a little windy this morning, a little cool right now. So I think it's pretty much perfect riding conditions. See you down the trail. Hey, here we are on segment three, Colorado Trail. 8.15, started riding. So far it's been fun. All downhill, which means I gotta ride back up the hill later. Past the naked jogger again. Saw that guy this morning. Right past the camp. I was like, what the hell? Where's your pants, buddy? Guess that's a thing here in Colorado. Oh yeah. Such nice flowy single track. So fun. Even with all this weight on my bike, it's still fun riding this single track. As long as it's downhill. Well, it's 10:15. Uh, Been riding for two hours. Gone ten and a half miles. At about 8,000 feet, and. Getting close to the end of section three, um, at least the part that I can ride, I have to detour uh, soon. So that's where we are. Seeing lots of uh, bikers out today, just out for a, a day ride. All right, made it to the end of section three. Can not ride this section? I gotta go down this gravel road. So, downhill on a gravel road. We should make some good time. from Wellington Lake. I didn't really know this place was a resort, but uh, it is, and they sell Coke. What? Yeah, so a lot of Coke. <laughs> I can't remember the last time I drank a Coke. It tastes so good. fun downhill while it lasted but now I gotta climb all the way back it's the story of today up and down up and down oh yeah some downhill woohoo Seven point 
7.8 miles and riding for five hours made a wrong turn a few miles back but fortunately I realized that I'd made a wrong turn before I'd gone but it wasn't even a mile epic scenery even if it has burned it's a really cool granite domes okay I am at 8,855 feet and I sure hope that's the end of the climbing for the day Pretty sure it is. That's what it looks like out ahead. Looks like there's some uh, storms trying to happen here, so uh, it could be an interesting end to the day. Well, it was sprinkling just a few minutes ago and now uh, it's stopped, thankfully. I'm um, just on a downhill roll to a river where I'm gonna camp for the evening. So hopefully I'll be there in about 45 minutes. Officially in plan B mode, the area where I was going to camp along the river is all fenced off with barbed wire, no trespassing. So um, I'm going to try a campground up the road here and I'm sure it's all going to be full because it's Saturday night. But uh, I'm going to ask somebody if they wouldn't mind letting me stay with them. So amazingly beautiful right now. And I'm so amazingly tired. Welcome to Colorado Trail, day three. Just left the campground where my first trail angel let me share the campground and made me dinner, stuffed me full of hot dogs. Jim from Colorado Springs, what a guy. Thank you, Jim. Well, there's the headwind and a nice breeze coming out of the north straight into my face. set on a large order of french fries and a coke but uh, stage stop is closed 
and sign says they open at noon which is in 45 minutes but uh, I don't think I want to just sit around for 45 minutes because then it's going to take another 45 to eat and yeah it's going to keep rolling all right well I'm smiling because just as I was riding off the owner came out and hollered at me and said he would open up the restaurant so I got my big order of fries and a coke and I'm ready to hit the road so more trail magic I guess I think this is me turning off the uh, highway here headed up into the hills once again up up and away Bob's nearing the end of the detour for Colorado Trail segment four climbing up to rejoin the Colorado Trail about halfway through segment five where it pops out of the uh, wilderness area that you can't bike in and then I don't know it's probably eight miles or so and then I'll be at the beginning of segment six which is where it really starts to climb and it's gonna get up almost to 12,000 feet at the high point so uh, yeah it's gonna get real now Still on the detour for section four. Getting close to the end now. So beautiful out here. Nice breeze. Warm though. So I'm headed off into those mountains off in the distance. I guess that big mountain there is the 12,000 foot part of the trail, but somewhere beyond there is Breckenridge, and that's where I'm headed. Point two miles to the end of this detour and it's been a hell of a detour Whew. okay at the Rock Creek Trailhead
for the uh, end of section five. It's the gorgeous view up here. Just kind of cruising along in my lowest gear on what seems like pretty flat terrain. So if that's any indication. There's a lot of walking in store. <sighs> Yay, less rocks. This is uh, Kenosha Pass, 10,000 feet, and uh, yeah, it's uh, 3.39, gone 35 miles, been riding for about 5 hours and 41 minutes. I think I'm going to try and go in a little ways to the first uh, campsite I find with some water maybe call it a day now just starting section four not sure if I've even got a mile yet plan is to go in here about three miles and there should be a campsite there so stay there maybe if I feel super motivated I'll go a little farther on it's another one Close to five miles in. Yay! Look at that view. Holy smokes. That's amazing. Okay. Making some progress. Come on, donkey. Yeah. all this elevation but do what you gotta do.
Welcome to day four of the Colorado Trail. I think that's what I'm on now. Mm, yes. So, heading into Breckenridge today. I have a big climb. First time I'm going to be up uh, at 12,000 feet, or I think it's just below 12, maybe. And yeah. See how it goes. I'll be pushing my bike a lot today, and that's uh, just part of part of the game. Bike packing in the mountains. So, hike a bike is the theme for today. And uh, I'm just getting ready to make some breakfast and uh, get my bike packed up. Feeling like I'm at a deluxe camping facility since I'm at a car camp here today. No bear boxes though, so ended up hanging my food up between these trees. Okay, starting day four. Heading up section six. Colorado Trail. Used uh, clouds on the horizon, starting to get a little gray already. Hope that won't be a factor later today. Wow, this is cool. So the hike bike has begun. on uh, segment six of the Colorado Trail, heading up to Georgia Pass. And, uh, hey, bikeable. Woohoo! Here we go. All right, that's what I'm talking about. Two miles. 25 minutes. Huh. I only climbed 413 feet at 10,430 right now. <sighs> okay, only another 1,600 feet to go for the first pass of the day. Whew. Feeling those legs. Can't really. Whoa. Hello, tree. Oh. Can't really do much more than this. Oh. Crazy. No power. Come on, lungs. Well, I'm uh, just over 11,000 feet now, and I've noticed that the trees are starting to get a lot shorter, more stunted, so currently approaching the tree line. Making my way up to Georgia Pass. Starting to see some real mountains up here on the left. Whew. It's 
crazy to be pushing my bike up a trail that would be a piece of cake down at sea level. But man, over 11,000 now. He's got no, no power. All I can manage is the really low uh, gradient stretches like I'll try and ride this. But, uh, once it gets past a certain point, this feels like it's using less energy to just push. Whoo, doggy. Whoo. Fantastic. Well, I do believe I am rolling into Georgia Pass. Barely rolling in, but rolling. Whew. Whew. I think it's time for a cliff bar. I think I've earned it. track. Yeehaw! Ooh. Ah, fun's over. been descending now for what seems like a ridiculously long time. I have dropped over a thousand feet in elevation. I'm now at 10,650. Poor brakes. I don't think I've ever used my brakes that much in my life. So basically just been riding my brakes for the last, I don't know, 25 minutes half hour. Whew, it's been a rocky, rough descent too. Millions of tree roots. Well, it hurts to have to walk your bike downhill, but this is unrideable. Whew. Walking my bike downhill through 
stuff like this for the last, I don't know, 15 minutes at least. It's painful having to walk your bike downhill. Nice. Next stop, Breckenridge, and a much anticipated and needed uh, motel room. Whew. Last big climb to get into Breck. Oh man, I'm mostly walking it. This stretch I can barely ride in my lowest gear. Oh. Well, at 10,725 again, just mostly pushing my way up this last big climb. At least there's some shade. It's pretty warm today. Okay, well I think I'm on the uh, final descent down into Breckenridge. I think there's a couple of little short uphill sections, but pretty sure that's Breckenridge off in the distance there. That sure looks like a ski resort on the other side of the valley. So, woohoo! Looking forward to not pushing my bike for a while.
That was so much fun. section six now then I'm gonna ride into Breckenridge supposedly there's a bike path so it'll probably be uphill That's how it goes right I'm so beat oh. okay now this isn't quite the ending I was expecting pretty dramatic Okay, section six. I'm calling it, it's in the bag. Holy smokes, that kicked my ass. What a day. I'm gonna see if I can't catch a boss. In the town, I understand that's a possibility. So. out of my motel. I'm gonna swing by the market and get a few things and, and keep riding down to the section 7 trailhead which is about four miles from here. Okay it's about 10:15. Uh, just stocked up with some extra food. I'm on the bikeway back to the trailhead. And uh, yeah, hopefully be there in 10, 15 minutes. Start uh, section seven. Great day here in Breckenridge. Okay, this is the start of Colorado Trail section seven. Leaving Breckenridge up and over that ridge line in the distance down to Copper Mountain. Another climb up and over 12,000 feet today. Oh, not feeling very strong at all. So I think it's going to be mostly pushing this bike up the hill today.
hike a bike. brief interlude of riding my bike as opposed to hiking it. Yay, shade up ahead. Well, gone 10.79 miles, three hours and nine minutes. It's 1.19 p.m. And I'm at 11,289. And I guess I'm headed up to that pass over there, uh, which should be around 12. Okay. Well, this is probably the steepest section of hike a bike I've encountered yet. Here on section seven. Whew. Gnarly. Yowzers. That was practically vertical. Whew. Well, I am almost at the, the pass here. I'm at 11,660. Need to go up another 400 feet or so. Um, but yeah, look at the view from up here. Holy smokes. Whew. <sighs> I'm having Sierra mountaineering flashbacks. Well, my friends, 
<sighs> I'm almost to the path. All I see is blue sky in front of me, so. Woo! That was the steepest hike a bike I've ever done. Holy smackers. Oh yeah, look at this. Worth it. Phew. Oh, and it keeps climbing. Eh. All right. So we're not quite at the high point, but pretty darn close. Woo. Okay, I have died and gone to single track heaven, folks. This is what it's all about right here. Rolling along at 12,000 feet on some alpine single track. Whew. Just keep it upright. My celebration of being at the top was premature. False summit. I still have another 500 feet of climbing. Oh. I guess I should have checked the map. Whew. Maybe the only way to do this for me just to lie to myself about how much elevation gain there is left. Hello, pine tree. 12,251 feet and climbing. Come on, donkey. Not even gonna try and ride this. <sighs> nice work! Woo! Good job, you get much harder. Oh, yeah, good. There's a couple of spots that are a little harder on your way. Yeah. But, well, I mean, uh, in the state, in general. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's on this trail, there's a couple other spots that are that hard, but you just nailed like one of the hardest. Okay, well, now I have finally made it to the high point of uh, section seven. And, uh, whew, yeah, I just talked to some guys that uh, just rode off down that way. You can probably still see them off in the distance. They gave me a few pointers for camping this past Copper Mountain. See how motivated I feel. But the idea is just to camp a little bit past Copper Mountain at this point. We'll see how I feel when I get there. There's supposedly really good camping, um, maybe four miles, five miles past Copper with, with climbing. So I don't know if my legs will deal with that or not. We'll see. But wow, pretty amazing. Yay. 
Here we go. The real descent into Copper Mountain. Dropper post. That felt good. Okay, well. Getting to the end of uh, segment seven here, coming into Copper Mountain. 
it's been a crazy experience nothing like it i've ever ridden straight up and straight down okay colorado trail section eight here we go it's uh, 9,931 feet. We have gone up 37.63 feet today and descended 34.12. And it's 4.26 p.m. and 17.7 .7 miles, 6 hours and 16 minutes of riding. Going through the base of Copper Mountain weird mountain biking across ski runs oh, here's another huh. this looks like a golf tee Still rolling through Copper Mountain. This must be like the 10th, 11th ski run I've crossed. A lot of them have little bridges, which is cool. It's getting to be that time of evening when my ass is dragging. And I wish I were at camp. I think I'm almost there though. All right. Well, this is a beautiful end to day five. I found a gorgeous campsite. There's a couple other people that are camped uh, nearby, slightly downhill from me. Um, you can hear the sound of the streams flowing. Very pleasant. I'm gonna put my tent right here. And go to bed, have dinner, go to bed. Oh, so tired. Okay, this is day number six of Colorado Trail. And I am just a few miles into section eight right now. And I'm gonna stop here and get some water. And then have another big climb today up to 12,500 feet. Just like yesterday, although I think this should be more rideable than yesterday, fingers crossed. Cold night last night, you can still see some frost on the bridge there. Um, yeah, sun feels good. Well, getting warmed up this morning with some hike a bike. Whew, not nearly as horrible as yesterday though, so far. Huh.
Okay, well, goodbye trees. At the tree line right now, 11,545 feet. Only another thousand feet to go. Seven thousand seven hundred feet. Looking down in the vet toward the valley, I just came up. It's Copper Mountain, way off at the end of that valley. Can't really even see it anymore. And I don't know exactly where I'm headed. Somewhere up that way. On the map, something called Janet's Cabin, and that's it. Looks pretty darn nice. I was expecting some kind of a old ruin, but uh, wow, that's pretty cool. Looks like a first-class cabin. I guess people can. I don't know if you can come up here in the winter or not, but maybe you could snowshoe up to it. All right, onward and upward. Whew. All right, well, I'm picking my way through the talus here. At 11,982, I think this saddle up here is around 12. And unfortunately, I have to descend a little bit go through some undulating terrain up and down up and down and then to climb up to the final pass at 12,500 okay it's uh 11 15 a.m i'm at 12,054 feet made it up the first big climb of the day that's the uh Copper Mountain area behind me, and I'm headed down that way toward Camp Hale, old uh, World War II base where they train the uh, 10th Mountain Division. So it'll be interesting to ride through there. Check that out. All right, back to it. Move single track. That's what I like. Smooth and not too steep. This is an unexpected surprise. Yeehaw! Quite the cairn. Pretty cool.
Okay, this is the highest point of the day for me, 12,500. Just had a snack, something to drink. It's about uh, 20 after 12 and headed that way toward Leadville eventually. It's my destination tonight. So yeah, it's been an awesome day so far. stays that way okay looking forward to getting some pizza or some such thing in Leadville I hear there's a really good place called High Mountain Pies go check that out Okay, I'm at Kokomo Pass. I just like the sound of that. It sounds like it's uh, Hawaiian or something. Doesn't feel like Hawaii up here though. It's a little chilly, but uh, headed down that way now, down toward Camp Hale. See you down there. Hello, sheep. Don't be afraid, just me. This is Mr. Mountain Biker coming through. Ooh. Got some poop hanging on your butt there, buddy. Hi hey guys. Might be time to move. Oh yeah, sounds like Switzerland. Well, I made a new friend, I think. Or he's just gonna headbutt me in a second, but I think that's an alpaca. I'm not exactly sure. Anyway, just rode through a whole flock of sheep and managed to fling sheep poop all over myself coming up off my tires so i smelled bad before and now i smell even worse all right well all the way down at 9600 feet now it's a lot warmer down here but i was back up oops There, way up there. That was a really steep descent, and uh, in just a few miles, I dropped 2,500 feet. So it's going to be uh, a little more downhill, and then I have to climb up to Tennessee Pass, which I think isn't too bad of a climb, less than a thousand feet, I think. So, all right, back on the donkey. <sighs> Warm down here in the low country.
Okay, well, that concludes the single track for a while. Eww. Nothing but gravel for a while, looks like. made a little bit of a wrong turn. Fortunately, I only went like a thousand yards past the turnoff. There wasn't really any signage there. and I was just zoning out on that gravel road. So we're going to take this little double track over into the trees. And then there should be single track. Yay! Okay, just pushing up some of the steeper sections here on the way up to Tennessee Pass. Whew. Thank you Shade. A bunch of trail runners just passed me going other direction. Okay, coming to the end of section eight at Tennessee Pass. Ten thousand feet. can't do this entire section because it enters the wilderness so I'll end up detouring back onto that highway I just crossed all right okay so I was incorrect that highway crossing there is not Tennessee Pass Tennessee Pass is still up ahead so I'm still on section 8 there I go again, jumping the gun. Somebody really must want some pizza for dinner. Okay. Now it's officially done. Section 8 in the bag. Tennessee Pass. Whew. Now let's find section 9. It's here on the right. Riding along section nine right now for a little while longer. So I have to get off and detour through Leadville. Whew. I got no power left in the legs for the hills. Not today.
this is the end of the line for section nine for me. <clears throat> I believe from here on in it's uh, wilderness or shortly thereafter it turns to wilderness. So uh, I gotta take this gravel road down to the highway now. into Leadville, eight and a half miles to town. It's about 9.45 in the morning, just left Leadville and headed over to Twin Lakes. It's a chance for, well, likely that it's going to rain this afternoon, so I just want to try to get over to Twin Lakes, which is about 20 miles from here, set up camp. Just gonna make a short day of it and then uh, get down to Buena Vista tomorrow. That's the plan. So I think right in front of me is one of Colorado's 14ers called Mount Albert. I'm headed to Mount Albert Campground where I'm gonna reconnect with the Colorado Trail. It's been riding along a beautiful creek called Half Moon Creek. It's pretty much just one continuous first camping zone along this road. Lots of really nice sights along this creek. Okay, here we are. Okay, I believe I'm getting back on section 10 of the Colorado Trail. I had to detour around 
part of nine and a part of ten. There you go. Let the <laughs> let the walking begin. Okay, well, first uh, climb of the day, and the biggest one is out of the way. I'm just kind of rolling down, headed toward Twin Lakes. It's supposed to be kind of a up and down section coming up, so there's going to be some more climbing for sure. And then it culminates with a nice big downhill all the way to the Twin Lakes. So. Should be great. Looking forward to it. I think I've uh, come across my first uh, honest to goodness beaver pond. I think that's their lodge right there. You can see on the far end of the pond all the sticks and logs they've piled up to make a dam. Pretty cool. I think I just stumbled upon the kingdom of the beavers here. I thought there was just one beaver pond, but it just kept going and going and going. In fact, uh, the first pond had gotten so big, it started to um, cover the trail. The beavers had literally just dammed up, built up a little mud dike right across the trail. I had to kind of push my bike through a little bit of water and over a mound of sticks and mud. So cool. Rolling down to Twin Lakes. I had a little bit of a navigational snafu back there at the beaver ponds. But I got to see some cool beaver ponds. And I didn't go too far astray. It smells so nice right now. I think the rain is making everything fragrant. Amazing. Totally different climate zone now. Back in the sagebrush.
Okay, starting the uh, Colorado Trail, section 11. Woohoo! I've been looking forward to this all day. This is kind of ridiculous that I have this. Oh, it's even kind of warm. I guess that's what storing it in a black bag will do. So in uh, Leadville last night, the pizza place I wanted to go to was closed. So I ordered uh, Pizza Hut delivered to my room and I couldn't finish the whole large pizza, so I brought it with me. Oh man. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> so, that was some tasty pizza. And the only thing better than tasty pizza is tasty brownie. Yep. So, the uh, Pizza Hut uh, would not deliver my order um, <clears throat> unless it was over $15 or something like that. And uh, surprisingly, my large pizza didn't uh, come to $15. So, um, I said, well, what else can you toss in to kick it over the minimum? And they're like, well, we offer fresh baked brownies. So, I said, hell yeah. I'll take some of those, and uh, <clears throat> this is like one quarter of it, the order was like, I don't know, a 10 by 10 square or something like that, it was a massive plate of brownie, anyway, I ate what I could, but uh, I still have a quarter of it left, mm. Mm -mm -mm. so I'm going to wolf this down before I get mugged by a bear. Good morning. Well, it's day eight on the Colorado Trail, and I'm just climbing up away from Twin Lakes.
Getting breezy out. descent you okay time to get out my blinking red light see why they call it Buena Vista. I am uh, a few miles north of Buena Vista. It's just been an amazing ride. <laughs> Amazingly beautiful but also crazy that it's all been downhill. That's been pretty amazing. So I made a great time. Um, yeah, it's only 12.15 right now. I've already gone almost 20 miles. morning it's day number nine of the Colorado Trail and I just got everything loaded up on the donkey and getting ready to ride out 
of the uh, Snowy Peaks RV Resort where I pitched my tent last night, had a hot shower and charged up my battery. So all good to go. See you on the trail. It's about 9 a.m. And got about nine miles to ride on this county road to pick up the uh, Colorado Trail again. Had to detour through Buena Vista yesterday to avoid some wilderness area. So anyway, it's all good. Got a good night's sleep and excited to get back on the trail today. Well, I just started section 13 and started out at a little lake and I think this stream is running out of the uh, lake down toward Buena Vista. Still climbing. It's uh, 9,700 feet right now. A little more climbing to do, and then I think still uphill to 10,000, but the grade is supposed to ease. So hopefully, I could ride more of it. got to the top of the first big climb. It's supposed to go on up to 10. I'm at 98 right now. road part of the Colorado Trail. There's a hot springs coming up and I was talking with a, another hiker who said that they um, 
have uh, food there for sale. So I'm gonna go uh, check it out. Maybe have a late lunch there before continuing on to section 14. Well, this was a pleasant surprise. I just stopped at uh, Mount Princeton Hot Springs Resort. Had some slices of pizza and Coke for lunch. A little picnic on the lawn over there. And uh, it's three o'clock now, and uh, I'm gonna head out on, start on section 14 and see how, go maybe five miles or so. There's supposed to be some uh, camping along the trail near near a couple creeks so that's the plan maybe ride for another two hours Pretty uh, valley I'm going up right now. Lakes on my left. All right, we've arrived at the Chalk Creek Trailhead. Start of section 14. Pretty rough going here on the start of section 14. My storm alarm is going off, even though it's not supposed to be any precipitation today. Not sure what's that, what that's all about, but uh, whew, it's hot in the sun. This lower elevation. <sighs> Yikes. Whew. Hope this is over soon. I just did one of the most ridiculous <clears throat> rocky switchback steep climbs uh, in a while and uh, glad to be back on some downhill rideable <clears throat> single track.
pretty cool. Okay, I think I've reached my campsite and water source for the evening. It's supposed to be some flat campsite south of this bridge. Well, uh, day eight is drawing to a close. It's uh, been a pretty good day, mileage-wise. I started out in um, Buena Vista and rode 33 miles today, 10 on pavement just to get from Buena Vista out to the trailhead, and then uh, another 22, 23 miles. And then I got down to um, this really cool hot springs, um, Princeton Hot Springs and uh, had some pizza, had a late lunch of pizza and Coke and just lay on the, the lawn there at the hot springs in the shade on their nice cool grass. Uh, took a short nap and then got back on my bike and rode uh, from about 3.30 to uh, 5.15 or 5.30, something like that. Got another six miles in um, to get to where I am now, which is a great little campsite that uh, got all to myself. Just off the trail, right over there is the trail. Right there is a mosquito. Anyway, yeah, so I'm just uh, waiting for my uh, mushroom risotto to uh, reconstitute. So it's almost ready, so dinner time. Okay, this is day 10, Colorado Trail. Uh, currently in the middle of Section 14, maybe about a third of the way down actually. Had a nice campsite last night. Unfortunately, I dropped my sunglasses right before I got to camp and didn't realize it. And when I went back this morning to the spot where I had actually caught them on film falling out, um, they were gone. So someone took them last night because there were several groups of hikers that came past my campsite. So it's my own fault. I don't know what I was thinking. I must have been tired, but live and learn. Also, poor Twee fell mountain biking on something that was just a fluke accident and broke her collarbone. So. Um, yeah, not great news, but making the best of it. I wish I were there with her right now to help. But I'm going to stay in the present right now and not think about that and worry about that. So that's it for that for now. Love you, Twee.
You! Nice creek here. Got to check to see how much water I have. Maybe I'll get some more here. So green. It's like a park. Smells like sheep. Cows. Cows ahoy. Hello, cows. Light meadow. I think I've been hearing uh, some bulls bring since I got into camp last night. I wasn't sure what it was when I first heard it. And I was like, huh? Do bears make that sound? I don't think so. Maybe. Hello. Glad I'm in the shade. Very steep climb. First part of it was also steep and really rocky. And at least now the rocks are gone. Hopefully it'll stay that way. I believe this is the last big climb before I drop down to US Highway 50, which I will detour on into Poncha Springs. So. Onward and upward.
Well, just a few more miles and I'll be at the end of section 14. Just finished the heinous push up a really steep hill. Last one of the day. Well, actually, I think there's a tiny little one coming up, but nothing serious. It's just nice to be able to cruise through the forest, not even downhill, just flat like this. Great. Huh. Pond with a moose. I believe that's a moose. my turn Most of the way in Pontius Springs, and I have to get back on Highway 15. 